Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in my previous video, I have explored computer vision services, how you can detect the main objects from an image. So those are defined in my previous videos. So if you didn't go through my previous videos, I'm requesting you to please go through that and please subscribe to my channel because that will be a motivation for me. So in this video, I'm again going to explore computer vision services from Azure. So for that, I have to go to portal.azure.com. So guys, I have, a, I have already logged into my portal.azure.com, you can see and so this is the landing page so in landing page so if you want to use the computer vision services you have to go to more services or you have to click on the computer vision so i'm using computer vision recently so that's why it's appeared between azure services so if you do not have this option available you have to click on the more services so if you go, go to the more services so there azure a services is available so from there you have to click this option so this is the Azure AI services and in the left side, you can see there are so many services provided by Azure. So we are exploring computer vision and in this video, I'm going to explore Azure computer vision again. So let me go to the computer vision. So I'm clicking this option and this is my resource. I have created my resource in my previous video and you can see the previous video, how to create the resources and all. So I'm not going to define you again. So I'm going to specifically use optical character recognition in this video okay so for that i have to go to vision studio so this is the option to go to vision studio i have to simply click over here so if i go to the computer vision studio there are so many options available like featured optical character recognition spatial analysis face and image analysis so i have made already i think two or three videos on computer vision so this is the last part of it so optical character recognition this option we are going to use so let me select this option Okay, so how the optical character recognition? Again, I am defining you. Suppose you have a card or any newspaper or suppose anything written on the photo. So optical character recognition or OCR model mainly uh, capture that image and from there they can extract the text. Okay, so if I'll define you an example, it will be easy for you to understand. So let me try it out. Okay, I'm clicking this option, try it out. So if I'll click this option, there are so many images available. I'm going to click this credit card maybe. So. This is a image of a credit card and it is uh, running the OCR model in backend. So you can see like it has defined the text from this image. Okay, so this is credit card. This is the bank and this is the number of the credit card and this is the valid true and this is the name. Okay, and this is the expiry date. So everything from this image has been detected as a text. Okay, so if I'm going to uh, select this newspaper or this printed paper, so you can see like in this case also it can be detected like nutrition facts and amount per saving so i'm just hovering over this text and you can see like everything is defined over the image and this model able to capture the text from this image so this kind of model is called ocr model so let me do one thing uh, i'm going to create a python code for that i'm i'm going to use this model in my code base how to do that and for this i'm using python so guys if you're using c hash or uh, javascript that also available so again i have to go to scroll up and then this option is available right view documentation or view sdk reference use the rest API or view supported languages so simply you need to click on the view sdk reference because i'm going to integrate this model through my code base using python okay so for that i have to create an api key and create a uh, api endpoint so that i have already created uh, defined in my previous videos so if you scroll down in this page in this particular resource you can see like i have the api keys and api endpoint available so for your free account you have to make this api keys and endpoints so i'm requesting you to please go, go ahead and create a free account and create this api keys so if you do the hands-on then only you will, be, you will be able to understand okay so i'm going to vision studio so i'm clicking this view sdk reference so if i'm clicking this so you can see i'm going to use python okay so this option is available so if you are using c hash or java or javascript so that is also available so you can go ahead and create your own code but in this video i'm going to use python so i'm clicking on this python option and if i scroll down there will be some requirements and all so you can see like i'm using windows so it is uh, telling me to install my api keys and set my api endpoints so those things i i will skip because uh, i'm going to define the key and the endpoint manually so next step is pip install and this i think this i have already installed let me go to the colab so i think in my previous video i have already installed that yeah so image analysis so that thing is already installed in my uh, in my colab so i'm not going to install that again what i'll do is i'll create a simply a uh, text editor and again i need to scroll down over here so this is the guys this is guys whole code okay so this is the whole code 
I'm going to simply copy this and I'll paste it over here. So this work is basically based on copy and paste, nothing else. Everything is provided by Microsoft Azure. You just need to utilize the resources. Okay, so I'm not doing any rocket science over here. So everything is provided. You just need to copy and paste. That's it. So again, this sample image they are going to use an optical character recognition. Let's see whether it can detect this text or not. Okay, so they have provided uh, this image only. So let me try with this image. Okay, I have some other image as well. So I'll uh, Maybe I'll try with that image also. So, so this is the code. So what I need to do is I have to change this uh, endpoint and API keys. Okay, let me copy it from above. So I think already available. Yes, so these two lines I need to copy. I'm copying this and I have to paste it over here. Okay, so this is the endpoint and this is the API key and rest of the code. So you need to keep as it is. Okay, no need to change anything. And let me execute this program. So it is running. Okay, so it has given so many things and I don't need all those things. Okay, so basically it is a caption or uh, a person pointing at a screen. So I think it's a image caption and so this is a quick start guys. Uh, okay, so let me go to the optical character recognition OCR. So if I click on this view SDK reference and if I'm clicking this Python, we are redirecting to this uh, code. Okay, so again, I'm going back to that code and see bounding box. Okay, confidence code. Everything is room. Okay, so town hall, town, everything is given. Uh, given. Okay, so. So this code is similar to my previous code. Okay, so this will be the output. Okay. So if you want to clean up and remove Azure Air Services subscription, okay, so this is about the deletion of the API keys, which is not required. And so in this video specifically, we are going to use the optical character recognition services. So how to do that? So for that, let me do one thing. So basically I have a file, sample file. So this is a sample file. Let me see whether it is working fine or not. Okay. so. So these are the things available. Okay, so in JSON data also we are getting this thing. Okay, so what is the JSON data we are getting? Like text identification. Okay, so we have to find for this text whether we have some text or not. So let me see. Uh, so this is the whole JSON data. Okay, so line word bounding. Pole. Okay, let me try with some other image because that image may not uh, consist of all these things. So let me try with some other image. Okay. Sample image ID card with text. I have to go to images and I have to select any of the image. So maybe this image we can select. Okay, so let me copy the link address and let me try whether it is working fine or not. So it is a kind of Canva reference. Okay, so. Sample image URL. Let me try with some sample image URL. Okay, so let me go there. So I need an image with text. Okay, so for that I need to check all those things. So this is the image gallery. Let me try where the text is available. Okay, let me try this. All right, so there is some text I can see, like there is some text available. So let me copy this image URL and it should detect that particular text. So let me paste it over here. Control V and let me try to execute this. Okay, so you can see like line is this, bounding box is this, what is this? Word is 956, so word is 956 is already there, I can see. Okay, so those are the words, so line and words. So you have to render this code, guys, and this is the JSON data, basically. Okay, so basically it is uh, written in JSON. So that's why, or else I can do one thing. 
uh, this bounding polygon on all those are not required if result dot read is not none then line okay it is printing the lines and word is equal to word text bounding polygon those things is not needed okay what i feel is those is not needed at all so i can remove this okay let me try this whether it is working or not okay let me try okay so bounding box again we have got this is not at all required okay so print line a line text bounding box okay i don't need this bounding box at all okay let me try this okay so this is the extracted text okay so line ch so this thing's also available in this image i guess okay okay so it is basically the word character and line these are the words okay what is this also available underscore so i think there is some underscore it is de detecting okay so like this only you can uh, do the optical character recognition let me find some other image or else i can search sample image url for ocr okay ocr test images okay let me open this okay so this is some complex image i want some easy one okay let's try with this okay i'm copying the url and i have to provide it over here in image url okay so i'm just pasting it over here and let's try to execute this okay so you can see like word melbourne now uh, compare apple to apple okay so presented okay so forever played or okay let, let, let me uh, okay line forever okay line forever okay so forever is there played okay so played is written and then uh, the heavenly musical hit okay the heavenly musical hit it is defined you can see and the next is uh, january 6 29 so January 6, 29, it is also defined. So you can see like whatever uh, written in this particular image that we already got as a JSON data or this format, okay. So if you want, you can uh, modify this format or if you want the extracted text as a list or as a dictionary or as a JSON data that also you can customize in your code. But this is the process guys, okay. How you can uh, do a OCR model or how you can use the Azure OCR model using your Python code. So this is the process so i think that's it for this video so if you have any doubt or anything you can give a comment in the comment box and guys please subscribe to my channel and if you have any thoughts or any suggestion please make a comment i'll surely surely respond to your comment and that's it for this video i'll make some other videos on other topics of azure so till then stay tuned and goodbye